Reg Harness has worked in the cybersecurity um, field for more than 10 years. Like he says while news of a possible Home Depot security breach may be the most recent, this sort of crime happens all the time. Potentially the point of sale devices were compromised or potentially, you know, uh, cyber criminals got into the environment at, at Home Depot and were able to pull credit and debit card information out of there. But before you go cutting up your credit cards and vowing to only use cash again, Harnish says there is another way like changing passwords every 90 days and keeping a different password for every account you have online. Additionally, he says that many websites now offer a double point of entry to help keep people with stolen passwords out of your information. You log into Facebook, it can send a code to your phone that you have to type in, and then it has a couple of different pieces of information. So for cyber criminals, those, those websites become a lot harder to compromise. Further, he says you should always keep an eye on your accounts for fraudulent claims, weeks, months, even years after a breach. This is not a one and done situation. You need to be checking your statements all the time, every time, uh, and it's, it's just good practice. And though he agrees that all of these extra steps may seem a little tedious, he says answering a few questions and eyeing accounts is just part of a new reality in our digital world. Cybercrime and cybersecurity are here to stay, and you just need to get get used to it and, and start doing uh, something, you know, something different.